What it is, what it is, what it is, YouTube, you know who it is, it's your boy the moves. Let's kick it. Oh man, sound switch, what a beautiful thing. Okay, so we're going to get into sound switch. All right, now sound switch is kind of uh, like a very, very simple, complex way to run DMX. Now, there are other ways to run DMX. Um, you can get the Rockville um, 512, which is basically, it's I think it's the 512 um, control box, which I have in the garage. And then you could get sound switch. Well, let's go ahead and show you sound switch, show you where to purchase it for a good price. And I'm going to show you the old and the new. So don't be misled by the old and new because the old one is bigger and bulkier than the new one. And you don't need to have the old one. You can use the new one. So let's get in to show you this. So I'm going to show you where I've purchased it from. And let's go there first. Let's go here and then let's open. Okay, now this is where it is. Okay, so let's get up here to the top. Okay, so this is sound switch. I got it off eBay and I got it from this house, this seller here. Um, this seller um, is actually a uh, sound switch micro uh, interface USB to DMX to universal DJ stage lighting controller. This is what this is. This is your controller. This is your hardware controller. And as you can see, it comes in this beautiful box right here. It says sound switch. It's a seamlessly syncs DJ software and lighting. And as you can see down here on the magical box, it says something very nice for you. It includes three months software subscription and DMX micro interface. That's this thing right here, the micro interface. So purchasing this device, you actually get two things. You get the hardware right here and you get the software. Okay, so now here it is. When you're buying stuff from eBay, the whole deal with buying stuff from eBay is watch what you got going. Now, there are more than 10 available here, up here, and, it, and 167 were sold. Okay, and I was one of those 167 sold. And as you can see, the price right here is $29.86. Okay, now, when you pay the $29.86, you get free shipping. See right down here, it says free shipping and returns. Okay, so you can return this device if you don't like it. And they will exactly give your money back. And it's four day free shipping. And then down here, it says where it's from. Ronakamana, New York. Okay, so. This is coming from New York. There are other ones that come from California. There are other ones that come from Arizona. When you're looking for uh, devices, you're gonna look for devices that are coming from Kansas, or you're gonna look for devices that are coming from New York. Okay, when you get a device from Kansas, 95% of the time, it's gonna come from a place called Guitar Center. Guitar Center sells these too. So um, and on eBay. So, and I don't know where the listing is, but um, it's in there. It's like way deep, you gotta dig for it. But here's the, the top one. It's IDG Now. And IDG Now is a very reputable DJ company. It sells all kinds of guitars. It sells everything. I That's where I purchased my package from I spent a thousand dollars and got my DJ controller. Um, I got the actual, um, and I'll get into that actually. I'll make a video of that where I got my DJ stuff because 
this is really good place to get your stuff from. Really good. I, I recommend it highly. If you're looking for DJ packages to buy for the first time um, as an introduction to yourself, do yourself a favor. Get it all together and don't piece it. You piece it, it's going to be more expensive. Um, I spent $1,000 and got nine pieces. So compared to me just buying the controller for 600 bucks, and if you do the math, that's pretty much uh, $400 on the rest of the stuff. So that's a pretty good deal, um, especially what I got. Okay, so, um, and you get the introduction speakers, but you can upgrade those as you go. And trust me, it's really nice. Okay, so the interface, this is what it comes from. Interface for sound switch and lighting software. It's a seamless uh, lighting for d, d software, and it connects lighting hardware directly to your computer US, uh, VIA to USB. The USB to DMX XLR connector. Okay, it's a blue LED to connector status indicator. So when you plug in, I'll show you that the next video. We're gonna plug it in on the next video, um, next Thursday, be on the lookout for the next video. We're gonna actually get it. And I'm gonna show you what the box looks like when you get it and everything else. So that's what's gonna happen next week. Every Thursday is gonna be Sound Switch Thursday. Um, it just makes more sense. So that's what we'll be doing on Thursdays. We'll be doing sound switch. So be on the lookout for my Thursday videos on sound switch. And then down here it says the each sound switch micro DMX interface retail box includes, and it tells you what everything's included in the sound switch. You even get a little beautiful sound switch sticker, which I have the sticker on my laptop. I love it. It's you can't beat it. Okay, so now this is it. This is the sound switch hardware. This is where you purchase the hardware. Let's get into the software. Let's go to the software page here. I got it all set up. I'm logged in here on my account, sound switch. And when you get to sound switch, you do your order. You do your order here. And then it'll tell you your order number and it'll tell you how much is month. Now, this is what you pay every month on a monthly plan of eight bucks. That's all you pay is $8 a month. Now you could do the year, you can actually get it on a year. And as you can see in seven hours from now, my subscription will actually be renewed for eight bucks. So I have to go in and fix all my information. Um, and then it'll tell you to download, and it'll tell you the payment method that you used. I'm not gonna go in there. Let's go into downloads. Okay, and this is the download situation. Okay, so as you can see in the download situation, both versions right here, I'm gonna show you this. Both versions are up to date. This is the newest version of SoundSwitch, and I'll show you that in a minute on, on my computer. It's two point. 2.1.276. And as you can see in both Mac and Windows, it's upgraded. Okay, so all you have to do is click down on this button here and it'll download to your computer. Okay, so now that we got that established, let's go back to the sharing screen here and let's go ahead and open up Sound Switch. Okay, so this is sound switch. This is what it'll look like when you download it off the internet. This is your first page. Let me show you what it looks like when you open it for the first time. This is what you're gonna see. When you open sound switch for the first time, you're gonna get this page right here. You're not gonna get the page I just showed you. You're gonna get this page. Now, as you can see down here, I have to upgrade my system. Um, I will be doing that when you, what happens is when you pay your subscription, they're going to, um, every month, they're going to actually give you a new, it's really cool. They're going to actually give you, and if you pay by the year, every time SoundSwitch upgrades, you can get the free software upgrade and you don't have no charge. My suggestion, if you're going to do this, 
and purchase down is just seven is eight bucks, eight bucks a month. So basically, I pay twenty something dollars a month for my karaoke and my sound switch. So I don't have no problems. Uh, get that rotating on that, and you shouldn't have any problems. But anyway, so as you can see, it says and you know as here, it says uh, Serato DJ here. It says virtual DJ. It says Mindy sync in, and then it says restart required. So if I was to take this and put this on virtual DJ, I'd put done, then I'd have to restart sound switch and it would pull a virtual DJ. You don't have to restart your computer like I thought. You just have to restart sound switch. Okay, so then once you do the selection, you click done and you'll get this page. Okay, now, as you could see in this page, it says link right up here and it says 120.00. And then right next to it says Serato, and it says Sound Switch. It says Mindy, and it has a question mark, and it has the spool. Let's show you Mindy real quick. Mindy looks like this. This is Mindy. Okay, so um, let me move myself here into the middle because there's nothing here. And as you can see, you have performance mode. You have auto loops. You have uh, performance mode, which is click, and you have auto loops. This is auto loop page. Let me move myself again over here. Then you have edit mode. This is edit mode. You can do 100%, uh, right click, uh, um, static locks. You can do static locks on your different devices. And then you can do external maker, mixers. And I'll show you that, how we're going to get that set up later. Um, when we do uh the full setup i'll show you that and you can do standalone and then it shows you how to adjust each one of these two so let's go back to the spool here all right let's go back to performance mode and then go back to the spool and it'll take you here and then you can go to the library this is your library now this is you're going to show i'm going to show you the library in a minute but um actually we're just going to show you this part and then we're going to go and do next week. We're going to actually get into sound switch because this is going to be very long videos. So that's why I'm devoting Thursdays to sound switch. Um, I don't have any gigs on Thursday. I'm preparing for a Friday set. So I really don't care about nothing. Um, I Friday set. I'm actually um, start creating a set for Fridays. Um, for um, background music in between. And I'm gonna go through how I do that on another day. But um, performance mode, okay, now this performance mode, I'm gonna show you this later too. We're gonna get into this later so you'll know about this exactly because this is what you're gonna do when you're setting up Serato. So when you go into Serato or Virtual DJ, I don't know about Virtual DJ because I didn't take the tutorial, but I do know about Serato because I've actually, I, I use Serato. So then there's no devices that are found because I don't have Serato packed in. So let's go ahead and done and I don't have the hardware. And then you can edit and you can perform. Now I'm going to show you perform. This is perform. This is what the venues will look like. Then you just put outside, I put inside and you put in there. Um, each one of these are different. I um, I got it all set up. All the lights are the same, but you can change them to your venue. So outside, um, how I do this is um, if I'm outside, like in the backyard, and I don't have nothing on top of me, I can actually make my lights go on the ground and stay on the ground and move all across everywhere on the ground, in the front, in the back and everything. And then I can actually move the lights to go up and top too. And then that's what inside comes in. Inside comes in and I get those lights bumping. Um, that's pretty much how I do that. And then we can go back here to file, go back to file and go back to switch mode. Okay, so now let's go and I'm gonna show you this edit real quick. Okay, so down here, it does show you that I got 2.2.1.276. So down here in the corner, it'll tell you your current version of SoundSwitch. And we'll click edit. 
And when you click edit, it'll take you into this page. Now this page has a lot going with it. As you can see, when you open this for the first time, you're not gonna get outside, you're not gonna get inside, you're gonna get what they call the new venue. You click on the new venue, um, it's ignore. This is what it looks like. The new venue is gonna look like this. There's nothing there, as you can see right here, where this plus is, where my, the cursor is down here, is minimized. So there is nothing here. There is no beat grid laid. There is nothing. So when you're in the venue, you have to learn. Do you have to? You have to start from scratch. And we're going to go into that next week. We're going to go into the pluses, and we're going to. We're going each week. We're going to go into a different. We're going to go in all these different things each week, and we're going to break them down. And I'm going to show you everything on how to use it right the first time and go from there and and then ignore I'm not worried about that. Um, pretty much that's what you're going to do. And we'll go in here and I'll show you auto mode and all this stuff. I'll show you how to use a, a mode. I'll show you how to use S mode. But A mode is basically you just basically click on blue. And as you can see, the blue, the beat grid rides up. Let me show you this. As you can see, this is my um, actual, this is what I use every Friday night. I use a solid color on Friday. I could use uh, transition. I could use this too. I got this too. Um, I don't have a setup all the way, but we're going to go ahead and I'm going to, we're going to set one up ourselves with this karaoke one. See, this karaoke one is blank. We're going to actually make our own. Now, listen, when you're doing this mode right here, I'll show you. Let's go back to Blue Pulse. When you're going, you'll see the cursor move. You push play here. And as you can see, the cursor move across the screen. As that cursor is moving across the screen, it's telling the lights what to do. Now, this, this line right here where the cross is, those are um, pulses. Um, I can get the lights to pulse all the way, or I can get them to pulse downward. And the, the lower down you go, the lower the pulse on the light. I keep the pulses up to the top there all the way at 100% because it makes the moving heads move a little better. Now, this is just for the moving heads. The moving heads right here are all those positions right here down. Um, two for nine. I had two, I think I got two to ten or something like that. No, two through one through uh, one through nine. So I have nine different positions here that are set up. And you can make different positions. We're gonna get in there and all this stuff. There's a lot of stuff to get into. Now I'm learning about the effects. So I haven't got that far yet, but we're going to go ahead and do that. That's what we're going to do. So that right there is the beginning of sound switch. And I, have, I want to take my time with this because it can get very confusing. Next week, we're going to go into the software and I'm going to show you how to load your lights first. We're going to do that first and then we're going to go from there. So uh, next week will be the lighting tutorial, how to load your lights in. We're gonna use the new venue and we're gonna do it ourselves. We're gonna do it together. And then we're gonna go from there to the next stage. But the first stage we're gonna do is we're gonna actually show you, well, that doesn't go, you have to get the lights in first. So once we get the lights in, we can go ahead and build everything else. So um, we're gonna start building scratch so if you don't have sound switch, get it. It's only, it's you're only paying thirty bucks. Um, it's like I think thirty three dollars, some thirty five. It's under thirty five bucks because you're gonna pay tax, and you don't pay shipping. And I do now, ships UPS, so you don't have no problem. It's gonna come UPS. So just to let you know.
Um, it might come UPS slash uh, USPS, 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 but it will come to you from UPS to start. Okay, let's go ahead and leave you with the final quote, and then we will go from there. Um, like I said, this is I'm overdue. Somebody asked me to to go in depth with what I know about sound switch, but the best way to do is to start from scratch. So that's what we're doing now. We're starting from scratch. All the way from the downloading, all the way up to the uploading. So, and suddenly, all the love songs were about you. Ha <laughs> ha, I like it. Leave a comment below. Karen is sharing. Subscribe to my channel. And follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Face up to what you've done. Don't take the easy way out. We'll tell her we did it. Remember, it's better to tell the truth. And that's no lie. Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. Oh, peace out.